What's up guys, I'm back here with another Minecraft video! Hacks and tricks, again, but with more than last time. Let's get right into the video. Whoop! And today, to do this, we're at, now we're making like, right now we're gonna make a gaming keyboard. Like, like this type of keyboard, which I don't have. <laughs> To do this, you're gonna need a, some spruce trapdoors, and you're also gonna need an armor stand and a chain helmet. It's very important. It's chain, otherwise it won't glow. Now you're gonna need any enchanting box that can be put on a chain helmet, whatever you want. Now you're gonna need to get some an anvil to enchant it. But you always can use an enchanting table. I just like using anvils, it's easier. And then with that you put that on your head and you dig down and you're done. Nope, that's not how you do it. <laughs> to do it, you take it you don't need to put it on your head, just Ignore that I put it on my head. <laughs> now you're gonna need some a snow, some snow, like this type of snow here, like the top snow. You're gonna need to put down two of that. Now you're gonna need some sort of block, whatever you want. I don't care what it is, because it's gonna get removed afterwards anyway. And so we do that. And then the armor stand should be like that. You put the, this on him and now you need a ch right I, I already have these put that there there and there and he and here and here and then once you've done that then all you're gonna need is a piston and then once you've got your piston you can put those back bits on of your table unless there's a wall back there just put the wall there and then we're gonna need red, a redstone block you can use a lever whatever you want I just don't want to flick the lever because it's a pain then we can do this and make sure it's about this high make sure it's like two blocks above it you put a trap door on there and you're gonna need to do that and then you're gonna also need to move that one down again make sure it's also facing down like what i did what i just okay do that activate that again and it's like a glowing keyboard you crouch on both sides and if you want it to prevent light you dig down two blocks here and then you get a sea lantern you put that there then you're going to need a slab or stairs stairs are the easier easiest so i recommend using stairs and you put that there and you can then put your, the rest of your floor across here like this you can use a block not stairs it's just I'm just using a block because it's quick and then if you change it to night you can see that it actually glows and it looks like it's rainbow it's really cool I really like it and then if you want to spice it up you can then put in like a painting on the wall here like for example if i make a wall here like this and i can get a painting if you're on java you can spice this up a little bit by using like an invisible item frame to do it but i'm in bedrock so it will be a little bit different and look you have a monitor and a gaming keyboard and if you want a mouse 
You're welcome to use a button. Like this. Use like a black button because it will match. Crouch. Crap. I don't think you can place buttons on trapdoors. Well, if that's so, then I'll break that trapdoor. Break that trapdoor. And then, then use a slab. Like this. It's not in my inventory. You can put those there. And then you can put your button on there. Well, also make sure it faces the other way. But, and let's move on to the second hack. I'm holding a little button. Now I'm just going to do all my stuff. Okay, let's get to the next hack. Okay. Okay. The next hack here is how to make a sleeping bag. So with this, you're also going to need some snow layers. I'm going to need... Go away, sheep. <laughs> I'm going to need two snow layers. You're going to need any block of your choice. I don't... It doesn't matter what it is, just as long as it's a block. That you can put a rail on. And then you need also a minecart. And then you put the minecart there. Then you break that. Then it should come out like this. And now the next thing you're going to need to do is put a little bit more snow on it. <laughs> it's a bit of a boring process, but it works like that. And then to hop, and then you can hop in. And then right now, you see how it does this? I'm going to make it so you actually it looks like you're tucked in the sleeping bag. To do that, you're going to need carpet. I like lime, lime, so I'm going to use lime. Then you, then you can get a smooth quartz slab for the pillow then i'm going to need another piston most of this involves redstone because to move things then you can get that put that there and you can put get that there then activate that remove that and then right now uh you can't see anything because now I need to get a piston here to put down there, then activate that with a redstone. Now it will do this, so then you can place that on top. Wait, so did that just break the snow? Yes, that broke the snow. So you put the minecart down here. But you don't actually put it down there, you put the snow there. Wait. Oh, I thought that was like a tall bit of snow, that's odd. Now, you, if that happens, then you can redo it like this. By doing the same steps over. Now, you can put that over the top there. And then for other people, that will, you'll actually be looking out. And then to make it look realistic, you can do this. And then to hop in it, you can break this block. And then you see that there, you can hop into it. And then you can look up and then it actually looks like they're sleeping. And so all you need to do is just break this block here. Press in on the low edge of the minecart, which, and then you're in. And it's very cool for other players, but fortunately I don't have anybody else on. Because I had somebody else on before, but I, I was setting up, he was showing me some build hacks to do on this video, so then he had to go. And so, you now have your sleeping bag, which you can use really well cool and now we can move on to another hack but personally this is my favorite one so far it's just really cool 
come over here. Okay, to the next hack we go. Okay, the next hack is if you get black stained glass and in rods, and then you have some black concrete, you can actually make like your own version of the sky. So that if it's day, it's night. So yeah, it doesn't make sense. Most people should know about this, but if you do like this, this is, will only be a small bit, when you can make it as big as you want, it doesn't matter how big you would like it. It's, it will always work, just as long as it's, just as long as it's big. Then you can place end rods on the ceiling, like this, randomly about. Then you can go up another couple, another three layers, like this. And then you can then put another layer of glass here. And then you can put more end rods on there. Make sure they're all in different spots, which makes it more realistic. I might even put shaders on to have a look at it with shaders. But make it about seven layers, otherwise then it just isn't that realistic. It just doesn't look realistic without seven layers. Oh, there's a fly. So I'm going to stop a, for a, I'm going to stop quite a bit because there's a fly that keeps landing on my hand. <laughs> Don't like it. And so so far it will look quite good, but make it a, make it quite a lot of layers, and it looks good, really good. Put those in. Make about, and don't put them like right next to each other, it just it makes it look weird and ugly. And so, if you just top it off with the black concrete as well, let's do the sides, then you can get like a really cool effect. If I turn it to night, it actually looks like stars in the sky. If you're really, if you're a bit further down, I'm in a super flat world, so. It actually looks like there's stars in the sky, but remember you need to put them about everywhere, otherwise then it won't look good. Just like how there's none on this block, it makes it look ugly. Bam. And you can make them up, some of them upside down, it makes it look better if some of them are upside down. And then you have your night sky. And, and now finally moving on to the last build hack. Which this one here is how, like, you can make a... What, what do I call it? Like, uh... You can make a snail. Yeah, I know how to make a snail. <laughs> a snail. Like, a snail spawning, but there's no such thing as that. And to make a snail, you'll need a, one barrel, and then one tripwire hook. Most people won't know how this, but this actually looks like a um, snail. And there you go, you have a snail. <laughs> this is actually really cool. And to make it look a little bit better, if you wanted, you could put a candle, like a black one, and then crap, and then, oh, you could, right, you can then put two candles on top of it, and it, and it also makes it look a bit funny. It looks like, it looks like, uh, like, if I break that, it's, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Did I really just make a meme about um the Krusty Krab? <laughs> I keep I keep thinking it looks like I'm like the Matt like the crab guy <laughs> with like the two long eyes and then he has like his little mouth just going <laughs> That's really funny. And I think I might wrap up the video here. So I will see you soon. So good bye.